Good afternoon, this is Bruce and uh, welcome to my shop again. Um, this is a uh, counterbore job. Um, this frame is uh, got a back ha handle on the back. It's of some sort of handheld machine uh, and going by the red dust inside is from a mine site somewhere. The back bearing here um, was flogged out the, um, and, and the seating was flogged out. So my job now is to, <coughs> is to, is to machine that out, uh, counterbore it and make a bush and fit a bush in there uh, so, that we, so that the new bearing can sit in there neatly. <coughs> now in order to um, set this up I found that the only, only place I had to be able to clamp it up was on these two bracket faces, one on either side. And I've used my um, I've used my free vice jaws in order to to clamp it up. And these are, I've I've spoken about these prior to that, but they are they are just a jaw, just a, a pair of single jaws, and you can bolt them up anywhere at any size. And I've locked them up. And then once I'd got that in place, uh, what I did was I then levelled all this out by using my gun. by using my measuring stick and I went around and kept moving it until I got it lined up. Uh, it's hard to show it at the moment because the mill, the mill is in the way but basically I used that to come around and, and set it up. It's jumping at the moment. I did it away from the actual, uh, from the quill area. So I got all that lined up and then I, um, what I've done here is I've put on my Morse taper connector, the ISO to Morse taper. I have a Morse taper um, rotor brooch head which I use in the, in the lathe and the mill and I opted to use the rotor brooch here. Um, I find these, these rotor brooches are, are, are quite good in that um, they are a multi-purpose tool. They're designed and built for drilling holes, uh, pilotless holes in steel and, uh, and other materials but I use them extensively not only for that in my mag, mag drill but also on the machines and um, and I find them extremely good for this in this particular case here uh, I would have had to use um, one of one of my uh, my boring heads adjustable boring heads and um, and also I have a tool that I've made in the past that I put on the boring head for this type of work however uh, the problem was that these um, uh, that the proximity of the brushes um, holders in the sides here uh, made it very tight. So I've opted to take a 34 mil, um, 34 mil um, brooch, and I've gone down and I've counterbored that down to the depth I need it, and so that's all good now. And uh, my next step will be to machine up on the lathe a bush press the bush in there um, and then repeat the process with a smaller, with a 30 mil uh, rotor brooch which will, which will actually shave out the last couple of mil that I need uh, to give me an accurate, uh, I work at, use this as a reamer as well. So I'll ream, once I've pressed the bush into here, uh, I'll check level again, make sure everything's cute. I've got it zeroed in on the, um, on the uh, DRO and um, and that'll be this job done.